Well, just when you thought game companies couldn't find any more creative ways to screw gamers, guess what? Alright, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. You already know that it's not going to have a single player campaign. Now, single player campaign's been a staple of the franchise for a long time. Well, it's going to be multiplayer only and still going to be a full price game. Well, you thought you might be able to pick and choose which DLC you want for Black Ops 4. Nope. You're going to have to plunk down an additional 40 bucks for a season pass. Now, season passes seem a better deal than buying all the DLC individually, and sometimes it can be cheaper. But the one thing to understand is that legally, there the company's under no obligation to deliver any of that DLC if you buy a season pass. You're essentially buying a promise that they will deliver DLC. And if they don't, you don't have many legal avenues to do anything about it. You can try taking them to court, but an individual against a large corporation with an army of lawyers, good luck. If you've got enough people together, you might be able to start a class action suit. But again, good luck with that. And if you win, well, maybe you might get five bucks. Best bet is not to buy season passes at all. And if a company does stuff like this, does things like this, the best bet is also not to feed the machine, not to buy their games. It took Electronic Arts getting financially hit by gamers, by their stocks actually dropping over the whole fiasco with Battlefront 2 for them to finally decide hey, we're gonna we're gonna backstep from this with our loot boxes and microtransactions. We're gonna backstep with this and we're just gonna do hey we're gonna um, give you all the all the heroes and we're gonna give you just cosmetics DLC and that's it. We're gonna you're not gonna be able to buy the loot boxes or anything. It, it took that and it also it also took lawmakers threatening uh, laws which will still likely come out in various countries and it took uh, some countries saying no, loot boxes are gambling in order for EA to finally back off what's it gonna take for Activision to stop doing this stuff to gamers you know seriously if you if you don't want the gaming in if you don't want companies in the gaming industry to do this kind of stuff, then reward the companies that actually do things that are beneficial to gamers by buying their games and punish those that do crap like this by not buying their games. Just, you don't have to buy Black Ops 4. No one is forcing you to buy it. It's not something you have to do. And I don't want to hear this whole peer pressure thing is saying, oh, my friends bought Black Ops 4. I need to buy it too. Stop giving into that. Because doing that, buying this, this crap from the companies that do this feeds the machine and allows them to keep screwing gamers, keep screwing us. And, and it emboldens them because they see the money coming in. They go, oh, we're making a lot of money. We must be doing something right. So let's do more of that. That's why this happens. That's why they keep doing it. And the only way to get through to them is not screaming in forums and, and social media, but it's by voting with your wallet. Now, that's what it took. That's what it took with EA. It took their stocks taking a nosedive for them to finally wake up. Now, gamers screamed and yelled in social media, but it was 
the how loud they screamed and yelled that got mainstream media involved. So there was sort of a few few things that really it was sort of a perfect storm there that happened with EA. But this is Activision with a with the Call of Duty franchise and likely not going to hit mainstream news the same way it did because Star Wars is a pretty high profile property whereas Call of Duty doesn't even make a blip on the radar when it comes to um, when it comes to mainstream acceptance I mean it's it's a big franchise but it's not Star Wars so if you want Activision to stop doing things like this if you want EA to stop doing practices like this the best way to stop it is to speak with your wallet to stop buying their crap if they don't get any money it sends a message to them hey we're not doing something right we're doing something wrong let's change our tactics let's do something different you know if we if we keep doing this people don't buy our games so let's do something else and see what happens and that's how you get through them because they won't listen to anything else they they they, they don't have any incentive to listen to anything else you've got to incentivize it and the way you do that is you stop giving them money you stop buying their stuff so it's been hitting the news and and of course gamers have been screaming and it gets worse because apparently Activision is not selling the season pass by itself currently you have to get it with their deluxe editions of uh, which there are three and they're expensive there is the $99 Digital Deluxe Edition, the $119 Pro Edition, which is exclusive to GameStop, which is still a thing somehow, and they're pretty bad, and $129 Digital Deluxe Enhanced Edition. And that gets you the season pass for buying those. So they dangle this carrot They say, oh, if you, if you buy these more expensive editions that are, that are higher than the retail price for what the game will be later, you'll get the season pass. You're actually paying a lot more. So this is going to be a $60 game with $40 season pass for all the DLC. And there's no guarantee that they will actually deliver on any of that DLC. So, yeah, I mean, when just when you thought game companies couldn't find any more interesting ways to screw gamers, Activision raises the bar a little bit. I mean, just stop giving them money. Just stop. If you want these practices to stop, if you want these companies to stop doing this doing this crap stop buying their games just stop I'm Mike DeZorch thanks for watching